Hey Virgo, so this is your relationship reading. This is a reading for those in a committed relationship, those that are married, you know. Um, so um, I'll be picking one card each from a few different decks. So I'll be using the Moonology. I'll be using the Lovers Oracle. I'll be using the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards. And I'll be using the Love Oracle cards as well. So let's get to it. Oh, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. Definitely, definitely subscribe. Um, my target for this month is 500 subscribers. You guys, you can help with that. Just press the subscribe. It's so easy and I appreciate that. Just show me the same love, yeah? So, um, you know what? I'm going to start with the Moonology. Moonology. All right, guys. So what's going on for the can for the cancer? Some of you are dealing with the cancer. Um, what's going on for the Virgos in a relationship? What's currently going on with Virgos in a relationship? Thank you. I'll take this one. It's time to release negative energy. No, it's time to release negativity. Full moon is Scorpio. All right. If you haven't, please subscribe. Just press that button while you're watching the video, okay, guys? And press the like button. Okay, um, oh, that's turned around. Okay, so there's things that you need to let go of that's not helping you move forward. It's actually holding you on. It's like you, you have an anchor on your foot and you're pulling it along and it, you don't have to. You actually have, you have the right um, um, tools to cut that loose so that you can move more freely, so that you can move forward like... It's like you have this heavy weight on top of you. There's something that you need to let go of. It might be the negative way you, like, the, the way you think. It might have been how you were conditioned, guys, okay? So, like, we just got to understand why is it that we feel this way? Why is it we think this way? Is it because of the people that raised me? Is it because of my siblings, my tuhupu, people that I've been around in school? What my teachers said to me, those things that they put onto you, and you're like, hold on, no, but it's making you feel shitty. You've got to realise that that is not you, that is them. So, you know, release those things, let go of those things. And, um, or something that your partner's um, been saying to you, you know, it, it could be that. Um, that they might put you down, say certain things like you overthink, you, you're not moving quick enough, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, but like, some cases it might be the case because I, I i've got virgo in my chart as well i've like longed things out i've really like delayed a lot of things so i completely understand however doesn't mean that it's helpful it's very to procrastinate over and over like it it don't help anybody it just sends you into a really weird space in your mind and it and it delays you physically mentally emotionally okay guys so you need to let go of that you need to let go of that um yeah so next i'll do the lovers oracle all right guys if you haven't please subscribe our target for this month is 500 subscribers i'm sure you can help me get to that if every person that watches this video subscribes i'll definitely our channel will get to that so all right, guys, um, we have deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. Yeah, so if your soul is rejecting um, certain things, people, emotions, places, like certain ways of thinking, it's time for you to t take time to reflect and... Um, get to know who you are today and I was actually having this conversation with my cousin yesterday and she asked me something about like you know she got um, a job that she's wanted for years and that's what she went to uni for but she her soul wants to move and I said you know there's things that I wanted to do I wanted to do psychology for a very long time but I understand why now and now it doesn't resonate with me anymore. Even though I'll always love psychology, I realise that it's understanding myself and understanding people. Now that I've understood myself, I'm like, I don't really need to 
uh, go down that 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 path is is no longer resonating with who I am today. So um, some of you guys need to take time and get to know who you are today, what feels good for you, and how you need to move forward. Let go of things that no longer serve you and move forward in the healthiest way. Okay, Virgos. Okay, we'll be using the chakra cards now. Yeah, guys. Um, think th there's something waiting for you guys. There's something waiting for you. Um, victim. Okay, so some of you guys may feel like you are a victim or you have been, you know, like, you know, people have kind of just come at you and you just don't understand why. I can tell you a few reasons why that might may be. Now, that happens when you don't speak your truth, when you don't take, when you don't speak up at that time and address certain things and you allow, allow things to keep, like, you left, you have things left unsaid, basically, yeah? And that can not only be irritating to other people, it's irritating to your soul because it bothers you as well, doesn't it? It bothers you, so... Um, these are the things that can make you become a victim when you don't speak your truth, when you're not addressing things at the right time then and there, when you're not letting things go, when you're not setting boundaries. That's how you become a victim, okay? You have control over that. You have control. If somebody is being like, obviously it's a relationship reading, but I did say with the other signs, this is more focused on you in your relationship, okay? Not so much the other person. I like to, I see the importance of working on yourself, pouring into your own cup rather than the other person. And when you do that, the other person will see and, and understand you and love you and, and appreciate you more. Trust me, okay? So pour into your own cup. This is not a reading about your partner and what they're doing, blah, blah, blah. This is about yourself, what you've been through, what you're going through and stuff like that, and how you can move forward, right? Okay, Virgo, so I've told you now, victim. I'm going to, let me read this as well, because I've done this for the other sides. Let me see um, what it's saying for that. So, the green acorn indicates that being in denial may be holding you back. Okay, that's what I said. Certain things, we don't speak the truth, it holds you back when you don't address it. <laughs> 